Welcome to the most exciting edition ever of Mad Men. We have started the playoffs. playoffs. So much to talk about. We've got the playoffs. We have got the last two shows of the year. Fair enough. We're going to be switching formats soon. That's exciting. We, I'm uh, excited for that also. I have some ideas. So the season, the regular season ends, and the next day, Wesley has a birthday. That happens. You know, that's... Uh, it's kind of like the anti-present to me, though, is when football ends. Uh, I get a little depressed this time of year. I can see that. Like it's Well, it's winding down for me. It's like the best football of the year, and it gets my heart gets sadder and sadder as the week goes, every, every round, because there's I, less games to watch. Really? Like, this is, this is it. This is like the moment. This is college football moment and NFL moment. Oh, like the play, a, yeah, the playoffs starting and then the playoffs starting. Yeah, this is this is the culmination of uh, or, yeah, the ending of these heart pal- palpitations. Mm. Yeah, so I'm excited. The Tide playing the f- first round one of the college football uh, playoffs and then excited for Like, you've gotten me re Doing this has gotten me re-interested in the NFL game, so I'm genuinely excited for a lot of these matchups coming up. We're looking at a picture of uh, Carolina. I'm, yeah, I'm on board. I'm trying to ride with somebody from the South, and Carolina's the team. They've got a real chance to win this wild card weekend. You know, they they host Arizona, who yeah. is not looking so good with very beat up, lost <coughs> a lot of good players still played good enough early in the year to make it to the playoffs but I, you know well you never know that's why they play all the games but absolutely I, Carolina's a pretty strong favorite in that game as a matter of fact oh isn't that funny isn't that funny like just after a few weeks what happens jumping you know jumping right into spreads this time around Carolina five and a half point favorite uh, I can yeah I can Arizona. see it I can see Arizona like coming out with a chip on their shoulder though but hold on where do they stand What's the quarterback situation? They're hoping, a slim hope, that the second string quarterback will be healthy again, who is Drew Stanton. Carson Palmer down. Right. Uh, Drew Stanton was Hopefully, yeah. doing That's well uh, as a backup. He went down. So they're actually uh, playing their fourth string quarterback because they believe he's a little better than the third string quarterback. Doesn't that just so make him the third string quarterback? I think, I feel what doesn't it? Yeah, uh, and absolutely. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. If he's your third best quarterback, he is the third string quarterback. Yes. Not to mention you're putting him in the game, so he's the third string quarterback. So. Yeah, they advertise it as the fourth string. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I've, yeah, I've seen those situations. And, yeah. So the Patriots had a bye. Patriots have a bye. So here we are playing Baltimore and Pittsburgh. And, uh, I've got to tell you a secret, folks. Watching this, I let Wesley pick who was who. I picked the game, I let him pick who was who. But secretly, I wanted to be Pittsburgh all along. All along. And I'll tell you why. Oh, Draco, I know you, brother. I knew you, I know you wanted to be Pittsburgh. They've got... Oh, you know what? Let's talk about this. In this we're going to play Lions and uh, Cowboys after this, right? Okay. Let's see what the roster update did for us just now. I was just about to talk about how excited I was to use Le'Veon Bell in this Pittsburgh running game. He is hurt, so I need to take him out of the game. But he's not playing? He's very likely to not play. There is a small chance he will. Whatever, let's have fun. Whatever. (coughs) So where I was going with that is, if I take out Le'Veon Bell, then you would have to take off Indomitian Sue, who is suspended for he stepping is, on Aaron Rodgers. He is no longer suspended. Oh, okay, we're lifting. Yes, it was. Whatever we get is, is what we get, is what we're saying. No, no, no. On the roster. Indomitian Sue is not suspended. They uh, rescinded the suspension and gave him a fine. Is that, is that, is this real football yes, news? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, as of, as of yesterday, he was suspended. I just saw a story on it on my way over, actually. I have bandwagon uh, fallen 
not in in love, but in like with the Cowboys for playing with him this year. Me too. And was happy well, that Indominus no, Sue would not be there to step on Tony Romo. I say me too, but with how does that not happen? How do you not pick up that block? Third and short. Following the completion. Oh, that's wild. The Ravens are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs that's split wild. behind the quarterback. Here's the handoff. In fantasy football this year, I made it in the league that I care a lot about. I made it to the championship game. No one cares. You know, the, the, the rule is no one cares about anyone else's fantasy team. So we won't go in depth, right? Okay. I lost by two points. Hurt. Uh, I don't know if, which hurts worse, losing by two points or losing. I think losing by a lot hurts more than losing by two because at least you can go, well, what if, you know? Yes, absolutely. Um Anyway, Antonio Brown, far and away best player, you know, point-wise, on the team besides DeMarco Such Murray. Such a bad decision. So I'm excited to use Antonio Brown today. Was the, the long-winded version of that. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That was such a bad decision. His time is down. He's gotten better the last couple of years, and he's going to let it go this year. And show everybody All right, in the NFL so. that he is going to be an outstanding NFL linebacker. The Ravens take it from the 28. Got him. Mm, my fault. Got him. First down here. I moved him off the snap. At that point, I've I have committed to controlling this guy. You know? Gotcha. The big play here. Hand off by Franco. Knew that that was going to get exposed. And I could have just did my job and everything would have been fine. Second down and five. Complete to Jones. You're coming for that hit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Times. It's a I love it. His shoulders Wise. were down. Wisely got out of bounds. Yeah, so was, yeah I'm only going to take part of that. It's like, okay, first down, but you're going to pay for it. No, not today. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw the blood in his eyes. It was a touchdown that won the game for the Steelers. And then you had in 2011, it was Flacco lead, leading the Ravens back down the field, finding Torrey Smith the second to go for a win. So they both have won in the other's arena in very big spots. Well, I think when you talk about them both, it just comes down to this. They're relaxed in big situations. You know why that is? It's because they've done it so many times. And that just tells you, too, the fact that they've done it so many times, it says to me right away, they both have a lot of talent. Talent. You can come through and clutch. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Third and four. Mm. Right back to Oh no, good play. And they are in on Pierce. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First down following the long play. Another handoff. Short run and it's a touchdown. Those dirty birds. I'd say this run by the that felt good, man. Just, it's they just that was say, a good, solid you can't stop close this. to his run. And, and, and I can like understand not control. taking the time out. Nice also, right? Yeah, that the was a grinder, huh? Yeah. The Ravens lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. I feel like there's going to be a. And I think Belichick is going to help me a revisit to that kind of football. I certainly hope so because I miss that kind of football. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And Tom Lincoln, I bring it in also. And the Cowboys. Tom was, Tom was, uh, I've never really had a lot of feelings for the Steelers, but I've always loved Tom. He's just 
the right kind of football he is coach. He's the right kind of coach. He, he's, <laughs> I love his he interviews. He looks like a coach. He sounds. He looks right. He sounds right. He's with the organization to make most things look cool and seem right. Everything fits about he's him so, with the he's Steelers. He's so responsible like, in his losing press conferences. Absolutely. He just, yes. He'll just give it to the whole team and then blame it all. And then somehow manage to blame it all on himself, too. And yes. that's, he's just so good. Absolutely. First down, offense ready for the snap. And he's already got a ring. Right. He's definitely... You know, I've... Outside of Belichick, I don't, I don't know if I could tell you my, in order, my top three or five favorite coaches, but he's, he's definitely top five. Fair enough, yes, absolutely. I hesitate to say he's my favorite coach in the league, but... Belichick. Uh, Belichick's one, yeah, whatever. And, and, one. and not just because you're here, but Andy Reid, he's there. And he's awesome. Second down, four to go. Roethlisberger with the give. Tomlin. He almost made me go to uh, Kansas City with him. <laughs> and I love any positive story for him, and I sympathize for the negative ones. He's had some hardships in his life that I uh, that I wouldn't trade shoes to be in. So this yeah, one's different. Goes out to him. Oh, definitely, yes. So you say Andy Reid, Tomlin, Belichick, and they're not alike, but they're still in a class. So then I say this fourth one, and he's totally different. Pete Carroll is a fun coach. Pete Carroll is awesome. Yeah, I agree. Good call. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little taste of my own medicine. <laughs> You hypnotize me to sleep on defense. If you're interested in conversation, but talking to me, Jeff. I know. Did you for breakfast this morning? I haven't forgotten about that Pro Bowl thing last week. Where I'm guessing Pro Bowl players, so I can just go right up and down the field. Oh, that's good. Most of the quarterbacks around the NFL, there are different ways to do it. We see it succeed other ways. But Ben Roethlisberger, I, I, I won't ever forget this. When he came out of Miami, Ohio, the first line I ever wrote about him as a quarterback was... Roethlisberger big, doing his thing. Big he's NFL, he's my quarterback that... It's now second down at seven he's a guilty pleasure. Rush. Like, I know I shouldn't pull for him for him being a, Q, a double, twice accused <laughs> rapist, I guess. And that's horrible, whatever. I... Like the first time, maybe you're young and dumb and you get yourself in this situation where I should have dove after that. I popped Rothfuss, though. The thing about him, though, I'm sure he helped the defensive backup. <laughs> Something about him makes you forget about all that bad press he gets. Because then, there, because there's no news. All you do is see him win. Right? Right. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I forgot. You're good. And you're not doing anything, apparently. Like, the only news you hear about him is when he rapes somebody, so. What? What is up with the play clock? Oh, is it on five? Uh -huh. I feel like I feel like I'm really getting well, bad in the play clock. But yeah, off the field stuff uh, taken out of the conversation because he's, for one, he's not a convicted rapist. So whatever. Alleged. Um, he's an alleged rapist. He's a Kobe. You know, whatever. Um, See, you forget that about Kobe too. No, I don't. I mean, you don't. But I that did. whole situation is what. Brought to light because I, I, bro, I used to defend him, man. Like, yeah, and he's as good as Jordan, or he has. It was. It wasn't. He's as good as Jordan. It was. He's as good as Jordan at the age that he was at. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Tons of potential. Got him. Mm. Oh, big time tackle. Nice play, Marvel. I still wanted to put a hit on Rafa's for you know, and he's strong step, you know, whatever. It looked like he got the step into the pass still. 
they wanted to pop off the yeah, first down but yeah that whole completion. the thing with Kobe is what brought to light how big a jerk he was going for the home run throws it in the end zone touchdown that was too easy <laughs> No Safety played in, Absolutely. and uh, it looked like he'd get separation, so throw it up. Yeah. I have, for whatever reason, I was playing... Absolutely. I was playing on a very small... But yeah, Kobe's like a bad teammate, and he had that whole thing where I should, it being on the public record and telling the police I should have done what Shaq does and paid and paid the girl or whatever it was that he said like he oh, said like, that yeah absolutely and then he used to get into fights with his team like, I remember him and Smokey Walker used to get into, get into fights all the time and by all the time I mean twice but still right two there's still a lot yeah, whatever um, twice that we know about twice that we know about all right so whatever all, all those things taken into account after unfulfilled <coughs> character development happened it's Jones on the return. I don't know. Keep on. Keep on Kobe. And he took too big of a contract. He won't play a franchise for a couple of years. But whatever. That's you can handle that. But you're still a Lakers fan. Yes, I'm a Lakers fan. I am. So despite loyal. Kobe? Huh? So what are you? What, uh, are, you, what, are, what are your today feelings about Kobe? Uh, Kobe took too big a contract, so it's going to take us because I'm a Lakers fan, not a Kobe down. fan. It's going to take us an extra year or two to get better. Hopefully, sadly, but hopefully the team is bad enough that we... And, the second quarter is and I want to, we're already bad enough, but hopefully we can win the lottery and get a top five pick, which means that we get to keep the draft pick for next year. Um, if the pick falls outside of the top five, six, or whenever, then it goes to someone else. It goes to... God, I should know this. Is it Houston or the Pelicans or somebody? Whatever. Anyway, you lose a pick. So whatever. I, the outlook for the team is get Kobe out next year. Uh, hopefully get a good college player and rebuild and be good again in three years, three, four years. I'll be a contender in three or four years. When's the last time Lakers went to the playoffs? Last year. They did make it last year? Maybe not. Was no, a, not last year. I thought they missed it last year. Yes, so the year before last Okay, year. so they've only missed one year because they pretty much went yeah. every year before that. Yeah, absolutely. Almost every time missing the playoffs has been under... How's Kobe playing this year? Horrible. He shoots a whole lot and the team's better without him. And, and that was the problem last year too, right? All the stats show it. It's, yeah, it's been the problem After for a little while. Well, they put, what, Steve Nash and who, who with him? Uh, Nash is terrible, too. He's, but he wasn't. Was he when he got there? Was he terrible? Yeah. He was broken, and... Mm. Oh, I didn't let that develop. You're right, whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the team was never out. really going to be good. Dwight Howard being there was supposed to kind of help things out. Right. And be the transitional And that's where he that wanted he to be. Not be Isn't Dwight. It? Yeah. Isn't Not that really. where he wanted? He wanted to be with the team that was. Headed in the right direction. And I heard. Would think that. is second to none you know like that's always been his thing like kobe kobe yeah, yeah. his work ethic and his ability to play when hurt and his competitive nature are off the chart he is definitely one of the best players to ever play just not in the top five not in the that, that's a whole you know, whatever that's a whole NBA conversation. um but yeah he's that guy he's he's worthy of hall of fame he, like, you know, he's a simple Hall of Fame selection, you know. So, go Kobe. Um, but it's because of work ethic and all these other things and dogged commitment to trying to get a championship every year. And his fault is that he puts a lot of the pressure on himself through 
selfishness or lack of belief in his teammates, but it it comes out in his play. But that's all that said, the one thing he has in common with anyway, NFL is that he is. Oh no! Nice. Keep running. Let's go, baby. Oh, you're too slow. No. Wow, I should have got further outside. Mm. Look at you. Is that Maurice? Which penalty nice brother is that? Whatever. Stupid Florida players. Can hook stupid fast Florida players. While we're oh, that should have been in the end zone, bro. So while we're talking basketball, what's going on in Cleveland right now? Um, I saw ESPN say they were having troubles. LeBron James is... First down here. Uh, I don't. Here's the thing. I haven't really been watching to know. Joe I've been kind of keeping track, like loosely keeping track. The general Hand idea the is that is all over the ball LeBron the doesn't, or that the team does what so LeBron wants to do, or LeBron does what he wants to do. They and and there's so. also like the team is built funny anyway. They have. They're built around three players. The three players are Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, and uh, what is that guy's name? Um, Kevin, Kevin Love. Love. Yeah. And Kevin Love. Um, Which is not the same as Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Uh, that's kind of a thing. No, it's definitely a thing. Like Chris Bosh, when, the, when they all got together was immensely better than what Kevin Love, whatever, he's, he just is. Chris, Chris Bosh is one of the best big men in the league, mm -hmm. and he was a perfect matchup for their big three because he's humble also and didn't, like, demand the ball and seemed to even accept the the it LeBron and D-Wade show, even though... I thought he played his role He played perfectly. his role perfectly, bro. He played his role perfectly. When he's every bit as talented as D-Wade is, mm. maybe not LeBron, but he's every bit as talented as D-Wade is in different ways. Um, yeah, I tried him, too. I should have pulled that inside some of that safety. Whatever, yeah, I should have pulled him inside some. Then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run um, too quick. That's why he dropped it. Ben Roethlisberger and Joe Flacco. They need so a of you have those three players, Kyrie and LeBron. And LeBron's basically a point guard also. Uh, Kyrie's a good player, but he's good because he, he's basically a shooting guard, really. He can score. He's a good scorer, but he needs the ball in his hand to score. He's not like Ray Allen, the spot-up shooter. Are you going with him? Big time catch, man. Um, I love him, bro. I love him. God, I love him. He's I can't ball. decide how I feel about him. Oh, how, come on, man. He's so mouthy. Come on, so. <laughs> but, he's, but he's good. <laughs> but he's good, and he's a competitor, and he demands that from his teammates. Like, he brings that out of his teammates. Um, he seems like a, a pretty good guy outside yeah, and he'll the smack game you too. If you don't bring it to a lot. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they used to think. Now they look at him and why not? Why would you not? In there. Why would you not throw that? To not Roethlisberger, Flacco. Okay, but I'm watching the place that I have to watch, and, and he's just standing there. Yeah. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback. Yeah, for the Corey Smith. The other Smith. The other one. Um. Okay, so you've got Kyrie who has to ha who has to have the ball and LeBron who also has to have the ball, but he's gonna share. He's gonna make the right basketball play. He seems to make good decisions. He's, I've never felt like he was a big time ball hawk. He wants it because he feels like he's gonna make the best play, but the difference between him and Kobe in that situation, and I don't know that this is true about him, but it seems to be true this year more so than any other time. His original stay with Cleveland, like it was, the, the play is give the ball to LeBron and he runs up court and maybe somebody sets a screen for him or something, mm -hmm. but That'll give the ball to LeBron and let him go to work. Um, Kyrie's kind of the same guy. Um, but LeBron just seems to be doing what he wants to do when they have this new coach that they got from Europe who plays this Euro team based game and he, they want it to be a lot like the Spurs organization, who is by far the most successful sports organization over the last oh, yeah. 15 years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd um, say about 15 years. Yeah. yeah. So, 
ready now to see New England is second to them in regards, you know, I guess when it comes to North American sports or U.S. sports. But yeah, they're that kind of organization, so they bring in a coach that coaches. They think philosophically what. Uh, what's your, what is their coach's name? Um, the Cavs? No, uh, the Spurs. Popovich. Oh, yeah. Um, who coaches philosophically the same way, share the ball and a lot of movement and quick play and all this other stuff. Um, which, okay, whatever, so they bring this guy in. But that's not the way Kyrie or LeBron plays. And Kevin Love is not the best player on a truly horrible team anymore, you know, and Whatever he puts up numbers and he's a genuinely good player, but it's, it whatever. is he's interesting always, how some of these guys get moved around and they're instantly not as good as you thought they were. It, yeah, well, yeah, it's the hype machine. And the NBA game is such that you rarely see you rarely see people blown out a hundred to fifty. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on a bad team, you're still going to be like within fifteen points of the other team. And if you're on a really bad team and you're the Coming best player, the then you're going to get those numbers that lead to that game happening. And that's not saying Kevin Love isn't a good player, but what the team's built half, funny. It's close. built funny, and he has a, he's able to play a really good role, or he's re able to play a key role in his own way and it's not the dominating the game kind of way his game seems to come to him naturally throughout the course of a game as opposed to him taking over a game and it's not really dynamic and all these other things so with all that said they thought they had a big three with these three players that are ill fit you know, not pieced together well at all. And a this European coach who's asking the best player in the world and a guy who, through some clever marketing on his own part and legitimate talent, is considered a top mm -hmm. five point guard in the league, you know what I'm saying? But a legitimate superstar. He was the All-Star Game MVP last year, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a, he's a star. And Kevin Love, who's also a household name, but because he's a worker, he's a blue-collar guy who goes to work. Big time. Big time. They're going to the hurry up. Back to the line. God, just a second too late, man. I couldn't switch to him fast enough. I was spazzing out on the buttons. I did something I rarely do, which is roll out you and let a play develop, and it was just there for Roethlisberger. That's, yeah, that's him. Yeah. And the thing is, is had you needed to run in that situation against me, there was a maybe chance. Yeah. You got not a loss out of it. Not yeah. a, you would have gotten not a loss out of it, yeah. and you probably would have bowled over a defensive back had he been the, been the first person to get to. Oh, yeah. uh, the problem is I left a minute on the clock. I hope that's a problem. With the extra point to tie the game. I really, really do. He made it. So, that's all that's it. That's the Cleveland situation. The but it's early, it's early, right? They can fix oh, it's that. Very early. Yeah, a good even, coach will figure out a way to fix that. Um, but that, I think that was kind of the first third of the season. Right. Okay, so whatever. They had that. Oh, man. What's, what's Heat Sky's coach's name? Spolstra, Spolstra. Yeah, Spolstra. Right. Spolstra. They they had issues with him early on, and sort of got it together enough to. I feel like I'm regurgitating what's already been said, but it was said because it was it's the obvious statement. The difference between that Heat team and the, oh wow, big time. The difference between that Heat team and this team is that the Heat team when they were losing early on. You could tell it was because their chemistry wasn't, qu not chemistry, but their spacing wasn't quite right. They hadn't learned to play with each other. They were still dominant, and really dominant things would happen right. on, the, on, the court, on the court, and you would see these runs of 20 points being unanswered, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In a really epic show of Sports Center highlight, you know, you can make a top 10 
he plays every night. It wasn't right. Yeah, it wasn't these games where they're getting blown out by the Atlanta Falcons on their home court. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was these really close games that they would lose to right. established teams. They'd lose by five, six. Right, yeah. right. And then the next game they'd beat somebody by 15, 20. Yeah, yeah, this isn't the same. I will, in, you know, full disclosure, at one point I did say that that I could have coached the Heat because all you, you, all you got to do is stand there on the, the side and ask the guys how they're feeling. You're ready to come out. That's just how it felt at one point. That that once they did get that chemistry, it was so automatic that absolutely, uh, you know, the coach isn't really doing a lot at that point. That is absolutely what it appeared to be. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know m- enough about their locker room to say this right. is what sports room. Yeah, you don't know what practice is like and that kind of thing. Yeah, he may very well have controlled it, controlled his team. Wow. I had a feeling that he could get up there because he's Steve Smith, right? Why did I call for that? I saw that third down, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I thought we were coming into third down as well, to be fair. Does Madden have Antonio going to return in kicks? Yes. Antonio Brown will return this punt. That's a game of ten. <laughs> That's two seconds on the clock. First down coming up. Bells in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. <laughs> He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. The defense gets oh, the oh, Break his spot. Break his spine. That's, some, that's horrible. Break his spine. Paralyze him. <laughs> we welcome you in now for the EA Sports halftime report. Okay, good half. That's a good half. Let's just tie it up, start over. What do you think of that? <laughs> Same rush yards. All right, let's roll the highlights. Then break through the first quarter. Pierce is going to stay between the tackles. And he'll go in from two yards out. The Ravens with Interesting to see they, they're playing Pierce instead of Forsett here. Oh, yep. mm-hmm. I think Forsett and so do the right. Oh, yeah. Well, let's get some Forsett stats. It must have been a third down bag with Pierce. That was nice, man. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I wish I could have that back, but that should have been in the end zone. Man. I was talking and running and not executing. You just get further to the outside, I feel like you would have escaped that glance for me. That's one of my... I'm, I'm happier about that touchdown than, than others because of letting a, you know, the way the play developed and Roethlisberger moving around. I can see that. Yeah. An uncharacteristic play for me. But you played Roethlisberger the way the, way the book says to play. Right. Yeah. Which is something, you know, you play Brady all the time, you forget to play Russell Wilson and Roethlisberger and Kaepernick in, in certain ways. Absolutely. So, how about Michigan football may be worth watching again? How about Michigan football Speaking may be worth watching Harbaugh. again? With a real coach. Right on. So you're excited? He's locked in for seven years. Wow. Mm, so disappointed in that tackle. What a run. What a run. I mean, I gave you the chance to put him on the bench. Maybe on Bell is pretty serious business, too. Just coming out. The defense, the back opportunities, and they are I was excited advantage. about trying Le'Veon Bell. He's he's fast. Oh yeah, it's coming. First down at the 17. Gets the handle here. Brown taken down. 
It's sometimes not about how many touches you get, but what you do with them. And we've seen this like one. Like two yards on running play. Plays when he's gotten the football today, Phil. That's what he's known for, getting big plays. That's why the coaching staff works so hard to find a way to get the football in his hands. You get in his hands enough, he is going to find a way to get it deep down the field and pick up big yards. We didn't just run 60 yards for nothing. <laughs> That's After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, well, it's nothing. now second down and ten. Nickel formation here for the defense. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Roethlisberger over to Come Antonio on, Brown. Man. That hit the ground. <laughs> you must be very Take a look at it. Oh, uh, not even a part of it. Do whatever it takes to give your players an advantage. That time they get a nice play call. They throw the pass and complete it for a good solid pickup. No margin for error from just outside the goal line, and that's a big tackle behind you know, the line. Fumble would have been good job by right the defense. Here, they stopped the offense that time on first down. I would have now had a different a feeling about it, but I'm sure I can see why you'd say that. Yeah. It's now second down. There we go. They call his name again. And that'll be a gain of about two. When you get your goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. to the line at the four-yard line on this passing down the defense comes out in the nickel third and goal at the four the give big oh. time Almost. Big time. Almost. Stick. Yeah, absolutely. The play call didn't doesn't seem as bad. I don't know. I kind of got scared out of the spot I probably should have been in. Like cutting it up a little bit earlier yeah, than that? Yeah. Yeah. Because a block was picked up that I didn't think was going to get picked up. Right, absolutely. An instinct said keep running this way mm. for a second too long. Well, I haven't been able to get five yards, so there's nothing to make me feel like I'll be able to get three here on fourth down. That's right. <laughs> uh, disappointing end to a good drive. The defense is feeling good. They're saying give us a breather, though. No, uh, this is one of those scenarios where the offense has to hold on to the ball for a minute. Right. See if he can put the grind stick on you there. Wow. Had I been able to get. Yeah, one more. A little bounce. First down here. Blacko will have it in the pistol. Jones lined up now as a slot receiver. Blacko set in the pistol. First and ten. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Blacko's going to be in the pistol here. The Ravens, pistol set here. Second and ten. Here's the handoff and no run. The tackle is made. It's third down coming up. Wasting no time now for this next play. We'll go ground. Mm. Middle. 
Good play. Good play. Can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. Wacko's lining up in the pistol. First down at the 40. Smith has it on the screen. Smith mm. tackled down. So they complete that one, yet it's still a second down. The Ravens in the pistol formation. They'll go ground, looking for some daylight up the middle. Tackles made. Third down now. They'll go no huddle. Right back to him once more. Mm. I mean, I'm calling it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I should get out there and make the tackle for you guys. Mm. Fourth and inches, we brought a blitz. Single coverage. Good. My game's the least Ravens. I lost that a second, no, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I might have had a bigger game. Yeah, you know, I was separation. scared, though, when I saw that blitz. Well, coming. we're bringing some heat, so you never know. But it looks like they picked it up pretty well. Set up screen to Pierce. Pierce is marked down after a gain of four. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. To the ground. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Third down on the way. The Ravens lined up in the pistol. Pierce is going to take the handoff now. I'm getting so mad at feeling like the run is coming <laughs> and, and them not doing anything to stop it. What a drive this has been. Pierce is going to secure the handoff. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 12. Gets it out. A little too nice. deep. Games 18. This will be the offense's first <laughs> play of the drive. Quickly to the line. First and goal from the three. That felt wrong, man. Like spreading them out like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as soon as I saw that formation, I should have grabbed that out of it. That, yeah. that didn't feel comfortable at all. Second down. The long drive continues. The pass nice. find a nice job to run away. Right. Situations. Third and goal. What are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, oh. I will look for something quick. So far. Oh, God. I'm glad I, that would have been a pick had I let, had I let him go uh, all the way to the outside. Good deal. Good deal. And he converts here on the field goal drive. We'll take it. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate they do get the field goal try and they make it. Is there anybody in the world who knows how I feel right now? Yes. Right. As a matter of fact. Ha 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 ha. Never and thank you. Never, never, never. Me and Peter Pan, man, we made a deal a long time ago. That you lost your marbles? A long time ago. <laughs> uh, what was his name? Which one was that that lost his marbles? I love that movie. Oh, man. I don't know my Peter Pan trivia. Yeah, he had a goofy name. But lovely Who's? movie. 
Toodles. Yeah, I hope Robin Williams is showing somewhere. Oh, wow. Popping. Oh. He's dancing around right now, but he doesn't, he doesn't want to take too many more hits like that. I know he doesn't. Nickel formation for the defense here. They'll run it here. Brought down at the 41 yard line. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. All right, Don't listen to the fans. I'm Keep running you. it, and it'll work. That second down coming up. Burger sends it to Brown. They knock him down and he's still two yards short of the first. Good job that time by the quarterback. Found the open guy. Picked up some solid yards with that pass. Third short. Now this opens up everything on the offensive That's side. <laughs> Drake. Drake. Oh. This is third down. Split backfield here. Bell's taking the Oh God. Oh, get that. Get that. Come on, man. And he gets a first down. Nice job by the offense at time. I'd like to challenge the spot. He was, he fumbled. He was but then he picks it up and runs backwards. Is it Colin in the first down? Yes, they call in the first down. Yeah. Same legit to Tomlin. Uh, he's a good God fearer, man. New set of downs now. Family, after country, the first football. On the ground. In no particular order. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. The wide receiver in motion. Miller's handed the ball. Mm -hmm. They knocked him down behind the line. I got stood up. Got to get the defense credit. One first down. There's so many oh, things no, the offense can do. Oh, no, another play. I'm pressing the X button at the wrong time. Oh, yeah? Second some hot routes. After that run play. Split backfield here. Here we go. The Steelers at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Roethlisberger from the gun. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Hmm. I was putting a lot of down on that. And it, I don't know how much of that was me. <laughs> How much Did he just was throw it into the dirt? Invisible. Because I was just in coverage, so I didn't even see what happened in there. Did he just? Oh yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if that was pressure or what, but I mean, yes to the dirt. Okay. Well, I don't know. Six coming up on this drive. Roethlisberger set empty backfield. Third down and eleven. He'll fire it out to the left. All the way down. Let's go. Let's go. Run him down, Antonio. Heck no. Heck no. Yeah, let's get over here to the edge of the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, you're behind in the game. You're Forced to throw and, and pay the price. The and look what oh, happens. Man. Your yeah. defense gets the turnover, takes it back for a touchdown. My gosh, that will... If that doesn't spur That's the team like, yeah. on to, to the victory, I don't know what can. Ravens. Did you see Tomlin? What is? He was looking down at the uh, play sheet, but he put his head down a little bit more. He was. <laughs> That's Tomlin sad. That's his sad face. Sad Tomlin. I've made Tomlin sad. You've made Tomlin sad. I'm sorry, Tomlin. We'll make it up to you. Like, how long They're before the they start talking about me losing my job? Oh, oh. when it rains, it pours.
Oh, he was still up too. Where you? Oh, look at you, Kaysen, with a fumble recovery right and a. Oh, look at you! you Welcome to the show. So when that football comes loose like it did then, your guys can react and recover the fumble. This game was so good for a while. It was. Why did it all have to go south? Satan. Great starting field position for the offense. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Play fake. It's out of the pocket. Looking for Steve Smith. Oh, you <laughs> needed to catch that. <laughs> you and me. Done a terrific job so far here today. He's got I hate your zone. Winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Like, I was com I don't know why I was fooled. I was just excited to be doing the play action rollout. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, the safety's kind of near the middle of the field. I got, no, no, there's somebody back there. Guarding nobody, but he's back there. Flip to the outside. And Good job. An on that play. Third down, following the run. Time for the hurry up offense. The Ravens nice. with a little uncertainty. <laughs> no, it's not. They take a timeout here before third down. It's a big play. Put the game away here. Should have got that clock run down a little bit, I think, but this is a big play. Ready for action coming out of their timeout. So I haven't even talked about it. My thing with the Ravens, and what it comes down to is that I can't say much because they're back in the playoffs, but I, st I stand by they're this. Flacco's contract and consideration and, every and what it says about play. overpaying players still and overpaying that position in general is what it was appalling to me and it remains that way but they're going into the playoffs so I kind of have to sh I tried to run underneath you on that it was a bad decision mm. missed opportunities yeah I wish I would have been able to run underneath that I don't even know if that's good. He trailed it, though. Joe Flacco made a lot of money, and he has not done a lot to impress since. When did, my, when did he do When anything? did he do anything to justify that money? Is my thing. He's a very good player and not a weak link. I'll give you that. But that was an all-around good team that won that Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't one of those quarterback dominates the field. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah, he never deserved that. And my fear was that it was going to hinder them or their ability to sign to sign some players, to sign talent. Oh wow. Wow. That was a nice streak back then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my fear. And it says what it says you're gonna you're gonna continue to overpay players and it's gonna become a thing again at some point. Or maybe and maybe it's not overpaying. Maybe maybe you're just underpaying everybody else. But but meanwhile, uh, Tom Brady is restructuring his contract so that they can have room to bring some people in. I don't blame. Here's the th I do not blame Flacco by any means. Oh no! If you, and if Tom you get the money, get the money. Yeah, and right? Tom. Bra yeah, Tom Brady's in a position to be able to afford to do that thing the for for the next possession. He's earned everything that he's the gotten, but he's very fortunate to be in that situation also. First down at the like, 24. whatever. I can I understand his loyalty to the organization and his willingness to sacrifice a little bit of a lot for an enjoyable end to his career. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, I can understand that. I think all players should do that. That's my argument against Kobe. It is exactly my argument Daniel against Kobe. Is Kobe has to get us an update on that injury. Money. Yeah, he just right. signed a new contract, and he's at the time he was still like the highest paid player in the league, but he was maybe the number twenty seven player in the league. You know what I'm saying? All right. And maybe not that low, but he yeah he wasn't even in the top ten, and it's an argument to put him in the top fifteen when he signed his contract. Wow, I did that. Wow, I did that, Daniel. That was with the backup QB. His Roethlisberger got injured on that last play if you didn't catch that. I did not catch that. 
Draco. I thought I had him over the top, but I didn't think I had him for touchdown over the top. Draco. Way to let us back in. We're about to make Flacco earn that paycheck. God, Lee, and he delivered too. Flacco did for the most part. And now the defense delivered. That's what happened. And then, in a moment of distraction, readying his team for the kickoff. He would have been there. I'm not sure. Had he, if he would have stopped me. Nice protection of the ball. It was. That's what he wanted. God, Lee, bro. That was unfortunate. That's <laughs> one way to look at it. The defense needs right. a big stop here two, four, in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. I tried you too, man, and it was nice right man. there at you. It's like you threw it to me. Bro, if he would have just dropped it a little bit, man. Good job that time by the defense. I guess he was getting put on his butt to the play. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. I guess he was getting put on his butt to the play. Okay. Well, it's a game. It's a game again. It's a game again. So quickly. I'm going to zero to a hundred. It's first down as they head to the line. What you going to do, Greg Kowski? He's going to run the ball. I know what you're going to do. The is trying to preserve this win. And they are in on Bell. The Steelers continue to trail even as they continue to run the football with great success. Ooh. Bell's been given opportunities to make things the ball. happen okay. and has done so. Yeah, not often do you see an offense where they run the football and just dominate the pace of play and be, be behind in the second half, but that's what's happened so far here today. And it's now second down and five after running Don't look at who's down. back. He got on the cycle for a little while, and nice. now he feels all better. Big boy. This is the time where the quarterback has to manage the clock. Has to be uh, very he throws careful. a pick. Trailing, needing oh, wow. To this one. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sideline. He me out of bounds. Plays, yeah, that's like that right leg didn't get down. Mm. Don't do that. Roll where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Hmm. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Brings it into his body. Oh, I thought he was going to keep going. going. Tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. That's a long field goal. <laughs> How long is that kick? How good is Pittsburgh's kicker? Good, but I don't think he's 55 good. Interesting. Welcome back, friends. Think? The offense has the ball, trying to pull out right. a victory here yeah. with just two minutes to go. It's an old saying on that man. <laughs> Fourth down coming up, a field goal could tie, but they're going to go for the win instead. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Oh. <laughs> they'll pick up the first down and they'll give the ball back to the other side. side that was a great Ow. Talk about robbing me. It looked there enough to make the throw. First down. Let's see what they come up with here.
first and ten. Outside now on the toss. Mm. You got to stay in bounds, fool. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Toss play. And this will mm. even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. They immediately call for a timeout. <laughs> after that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Offense lines up here. Joe Clapper will take it right from the center. will take the snap from the 45. Throws to the right. He makes the catch. That's good, yeah. And they try to conserve time here with this timeout. <laughs> that timeout might be very useful for the offense. Yeah. They're now ready to go. <laughs> Extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. <laughs> the Ravens had a fourth down play coming up, but want to be sure about what they want to do here, so they burn a timeout. I can't deal with this level of stress. <laughs> I've lost I've lost a quarter inch of hairline over the last couple minutes. Timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. There we go again. <laughs> This is my decision. And so now the bring out I said I thought Flacco was a bit overrated, although not bad. Please know, um, Baltimore fans, I'm not saying Flacco is bad. So was he worth $100 million? I don't think he's worth his contract. And I don't even think it was close. No. Okay. It'll so. But ultimately, the Ravens thought it was. But ultimately, and who am I to say? Because there's a well-run organization. You want to pay the guy, pay whatever. It's, it's weird, though, whatever. isn't it? There's, there's 32 teams. There's not 32 good quarterbacks. So, maybe to the Ravens, he is worth that much money. You know? M maybe he is. What? Yeah, whatever. And they're in the playoffs, so there's not much more I can say. Um, but I feel like with what I know of the team, their defense was, a, I'm sure, a major part of them being with the It's easy when you, can, when you can play with the lead or, or get plenty of opportunities on offense because of turnovers. You know, I said something earlier uh, that's a new thought for me, but I th it kind of made sense. And maybe warrants saying again, oh, get through there. Yeah, two people get hit then. I don't think they want to run another one. Player. I don't think anybody's talking about it. Won't use a timeout here. The Steelers have it at the 39. 
Antonio Brown with the catch. Thank you for being up on. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. play is huge now second down on the way Moore's in the slot second down and six Smith's able oh, wow. to spot the pass away he's such a smart linebacker that's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time he diagnosed the play he saw what it was going to be got himself in position and he made it happen Coming up, third down, a huge moment. Roethlisberger's lined up, empty backfield. Third and six. Screen gets it out for the completion. He steps out. The Steelers know the 32-yard line is a must to give their kicker any chance at the field goal. down pressure on every snap now Moore's lined up in the slot first down at the 42 tries to get no the beat down, down, but no, this will be ruled incomplete and the quarterback the coaches his teammates everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort how about the receiver just going all out to make the catch doesn't quite get there but the effort is outstanding the Steelers head to the line they've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter nickel formation here for the defense second down and ten Roethlisberger play action running away from the pressure it's wide open and he's tackled you know what I said picking up the first First With the way that I Let's played that, I said, watch this fool. We'll <laughs> Won't use a timeout. Roethlisberger from the gun. Oh, oh that's fine. Can't that's find fine. the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Lots of ways to attack. God, wait, I still plays send how to slide with your quarterback, to Daniel, still throw it deep down the field. Give me a comment. All right. I was happy with the run. I wanted to just give myself up. Second down coming up. Time obviously a factor the rest of the way. Second and ten. No, sir. No, sir. Really, referee? The rest of the way. Going to the hurry up under a ah, You're go. kidding. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. So off an incompletion. They do have Come a timeout, so they could go to the middle of the field oh, if they want to here in the late stages. You're exactly right. That's what <laughs> it does. Antonio Brown's you. You dead. Know, Where is he at? He's on the sidelines. He's tired. They're going to protect the sidelines. They want you to throw it underneath. And if you do and you get tackled, you're right. Use that timeout. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. This has been a long drive so far. Second down and ten. He'll keep it on the play fake, eyeing that left side. Oh my God! You didn't get both feet down. And incomplete. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> in position now, in the red zone, and here the defense knows this is where it cannot buckle. What makes it so tough for the defense is in the red zone that the offense has a whole new set of plays once they get inside the 20, so you've got to be looking out for everything. The Steelers head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. 
marching down the field and taking their time. Third and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Are you kidding me, bro? The Steelers still trail in the second half, but their passing game has been quite good. Did not trust uh, that clock. Had to take that led out. his team on the field today and has posted some very impressive numbers. Yeah, the offense has been sharp, and I'll say this: in the NFL, if you're trying to make a comeback, the easiest way mm. to do it is to do it with a hot quarterback and the offense that's clicking on all cylinders. I'm gonna regret. Big play what I'm doing. coming. Defense looking for a stop. First and goal. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown. You are kidding, bro. Oh, that's terrible. He gets slammed into the end zone. Come on. Oh, man. Let's see that. Let's see that again. That's pitiful. Oh, we can't unless they show it. We'll look at it after the game. The, uh, uh, yeah, they the, already the PA, it. The PAT, yeah. Yeah, he gets slammed into the end zone. I'm calling timeout because I, I don't. I think he stopped at the one. Yeah, yeah, it was a touchdown. In my mind, he he he, he held he got, the ball out. No, nah, he got. <laughs> yeah, he got <laughs> suplexed into the end zone. That's what I saw. Are you don't me? give up, Steelers fans. Don't ever give up. The Ravens offense now coming out. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Now first and ten. Looking long to Torrey Smith. And it's going to fall incomplete. The comeback effort comes up short. A final yeah, play he's still trying to figure out what happened. That was what one absurd defensive yeah, play. The last play and the and a very down. interesting hey, game-winning touchdown. Be about this game. Yeah, I have no complaints about that. That was absurd, but or, yeah, whatever. Good competitive but game. it was a fun game. Good competitive game. I would have felt, even if I had, you know, had a lost and not got the touchdown, I still would have felt like it was a good game. Anything that comes down to the end like that. Yeah. Because who wins are the viewers. Fair enough. I hope you enjoyed it. These extra 15 gray hairs are for you. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. And this, uh, this baldness. Oh, there the it was. Okay, right. that wasn't necessarily a... It was kind of the same. He fought for that. Zone. That's Antonio Brown. Let's take a look at this. Bonus time. Let's see what the, uh, what the highlights. We're, yeah. Uh, hey, where are the highlights yet? Uh, hold on. Are we in the fourth uh, quarter? Yeah, just drop down. What a few. That's, that, that's the one with seven seconds left on the clock. One, oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. First and five. This will be a fair angle for it. So here it is. What a catch, first of all, because I didn't think the coverage was going to be that strong when I moved him out. No one was playing him off the line. So Webb gets over yeah. there so yeah. fast. I watched this. Come on, bro. You see this? Okay. Boom. Okay. On him. Catch. On him. Keep yeah. those knees up. Fight for it. Okay. Fight, Fight for, for it. it. Fight for it. What, what just happened? Explain to me. Explain the magic that just happened there. Look, uh, I need to okay. see. Okay, so, so we're with one hand, some. okay, he catches catch the ball it. and Always gets driven backwards. Right? So the whole time, one hand, one hand, driven backwards. My guy has his hand on the ball right now. Also, Trying way to, to hold that, on to yeah. the ball, right? Okay. Okay. So All right, and now, now I'm, uh, oh, I'm set. Okay. And then, then he your other guy, comes, and I'm gonna Samoan drop him. Is that what happens? Well, it looks wait, more like on, a, wait. Okay, it's starting, so. starting to look a little more like a Ron Simmons spine buster now. Okay. Okay, so. So look at his feet. <laughs> look at his feet. Okay, so from this point. Okay, so. It, it, this is you're him driving in there. up. Yeah. He's driving up. Boom. Yeah. Okay. And what? So, so let's all just go into the air. How does that happen? But okay. But what happens from here? Boom. Get so some. I'm gonna, yeah, I got to turn into the end zone. Oh, I just need I to cross that. the plane. That's interesting. I just need to cross the plane here. Yes. 
That's interesting. That is my guy being stronger than your guy leaping with a stinger splash through the air. He picked him up. If his hands around him, he picked him up, right? He picked right. him up and drives him into the end zone. You and I are both going into the end zone. <laughs> Heath Miller just watches and doesn't help. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Yay. I, I get Good job, way. Antonio. <laughs> Solid play, no complaints. That's what, whatever. I expect that kind of griminess from this game. I hope it's as interesting. Um, either way, they're two teams that I wouldn't be upset if they go the whole way. So, yeah, cheers to Baltimore and Pittsburgh for making game one interesting. Three AFC North teams in the playoffs. Go figure. Everyone, I figure everyone it's a thought, solid division. Everyone thought the West would be strong with the Chargers, the Chiefs, and the Broncos, but nope. It's the Bengals. Yep. Steelers and Ravens. And whatever has, what has Pittsburgh done to, Pittsburgh or the Ravens done to make us discredit them all together? Nothing. And then we knew Cincinnati was on a come up. It's time. And Cleveland is on the way, maybe. We think if so. they had a quarterback. Anyway. If I only had a quarterback. Check out Lions Cowboys.